All right, now the first test without any undervolt applied. Core and cache are still locked and I'm not undervolted. Let's see what score we will get and what temperatures. So we're already hitting 100 degrees and our clock speeds are going down to 3.25 gigahertz right now from the 4 gigahertz all core speed which this i7 is supposed to have. We are doing all this by, with using the performance mode from the Dell Power Management. So it should give us the best performance uh, the laptop can offer within the limits it has. And right now we are obviously not power limited as we are hitting 50 watts. Uh, our power limit should be at around 56 watts. Which means, uh, as we can see here as well with the hot sign, um, that we are actually just thermal, uh, thermal limited right now. All right, two thousand four hundred and seventy points without any undervolt applied. All right, now we actually have the undervolt applied. We are at a minus 135.7 millivolt on core and cache. Let's see if we will get any different results from that already. So the CPU is already going up to 100 degrees again. We're pulling 56 watts right now. But even though we're actually still hitting the 100 degrees, uh, we are clocking quite a bit over what we had seen previously without any undervolt applied because without the undervolt we would actually already be at around 3.3 .3 gigahertz right now and as you can see we're actually getting 3.5 gigahertz and it's actually able to maintain those 3.5 gigahertz which is pretty good but as we can see we're still hitting around 95 to 100 degrees in some cores so it's still getting really really hot right now there and you can see our result is actually quite a bit better than before as we were hitting uh, like 2470 points or something like that so there's actually a modest increase in points already to be seen
All right. So now it's time for some gaming benchmarks. And as you can see already, uh, we're at 100 degrees on the CPU. And the GPU therefore already has to throttle down. It's uh, power limit is actually 50 watts and as you can see right now we're just at 30 watts which is the default power limit when it's uh, temperature throttling. This means that we're not using the full potential of our GTX 10 uh, 1650 um, because our CPU is just running way too hot for it to maintain uh, higher clock speeds and a higher wattage. The CPU, on the other hand, is actually running at 45, uh, 46 watts, something like that, um, and it's actually maintaining pretty high, pretty high uh, clock speeds. But this doesn't really uh, benefit us in uh, this game, since we are mostly GPU bound, and our GPU has to severely throttle down right now. As you can see, we're just at 2,060 megahertz or something like that. Uh, and our uh, video memory is just running at 3500 megahertz so we are severely throttling right now and do not get the most out of our system. Alright, now we have Underworld applied on the CPU, uh, minus 135.7 on core and cache. And as you can see already, our clock speeds are actually pretty high. Like we're getting like four gigahertz or almost four gigahertz, which is the maximum clock speed we should get. So the CPU is actually maintaining the maximum, um, maximum clock speeds it should be able to maintain already. We already have undervolted the GPU as well, like we have a GPU uh, megahertz offset of I think it was plus 180 megahertz. So you are also seeing GPU running at higher clock speeds than before, even though we are still thermal and uh, power throttling. Like as you can see right now we're still at the 30 watts power limit of the GPU, which means we're still not getting uh, most of the uh, performance that we should get from this uh, GTX 1650. So under voltage alone seems to help our CPU clock speeds. Um, it doesn't really help by lowering our temperatures and therefore we're still severely throttling on the uh, GPU side and we're still in the temperature and power limit uh, that we're getting from that. So we have lower lower clock speeds on our video RAM and obviously we have lower clock speeds on our core of the GPU. So undervolting alone doesn't seem to help us with our problem with throttling of the system. Because even though we're getting 4 GHz on the CPU, that won't really benefit us in this game or in most other titles, since we're basically uh, GPU bound all the time. So, what we're gonna do next is to limit the performance of the CPU and the GPU as well. Alright, so we're back. What I have done now is uh, not just undervolt the CPU and the GPU, but also limit the CPU um, all core turbo to 2.7 gigahertz. As you can see right now, we are just pulling over uh, 20 watts on our CPU, which results in much lower temperatures, like with with shove off like 25 degrees from our CPU, which means it can easily maintain those 2.7 gigahertz and is still running cool to the touch. Our GPU on the other hand is not just uh, undervolted, but it's also uh, kept at 1665 megahertz on the core, but the video memory is actually overclocked to 2 to 4.5 gigahertz, as you can see. 
And the most important thing uh, right now is that we are not limited uh, by any means anymore. As you can see, the limit shows no load, which means that we are neither uh, GPU uh, nor CPU throttling right now in terms of having to lower the clock speeds because of temperature or due to power throttling. So right now we could uh, tweak the GPU uh, as, more, as much as we want to get uh, the most out of it and to see if it would run at higher clock speeds and maintain those clock speeds. Um, but right now we're actually achieving really, really good clock speeds on the GPU and have and still maintain really good temperatures as well. So if we would keep the system like that, you could run a 30 minute game, a 50 minute game or play as long as you want and uh, throttling of any kind should never occur in this case. So you can play like that and your machine should run much faster. As you can see we are still like 95, 97 or even 99% GPU bound most of the time even though we have we are having much much lower clock speeds than our 4 GHz that we had before. So this shows us that those 4 GHz are actually just not needed to play games um, at the best uh, performance of the system. And at the same time, this high clock speeds will always limit us because the temperatures will always go up way too high if we let that happen. So what you should do is not just undervolt your CPU and GPU, but also limit it. Uh, to a certain degree, but that really depends on the game you're playing. And by doing so, you can maintain those high clock speeds. 